Hey everyone, it's Matt from Greatness Every Day, and in this video, I'm going to share with you how to make an extra $500 a month with an online business. And this is something that I've done myself, and I wanna share these tips and tricks with you so that you can go ahead and do it. You can go ahead and hit $500, $1,000 a month, and you can do all of those things faster than it took me, because if I'm looking at these tips, um, I would have definitely done this a little bit faster if my purpose was growing and expanding my income. So we're gonna go ahead and start this video but drop any comments that you have down below while we're going through and number one is understanding what you want to create and understanding also why you want to create it and there's a few reasons I start with knowing your what and knowing your why and the very first piece to that is when you know what you want to create you're not going to waste any time kind of going through the motions and figuring that out if you are very clear on what you want to create with your online platform your online business uh, and just life in general that is going to help you achieve those goals so much faster. The second piece to that is also understanding why you want to create it. And that's a reason I bring up because it's really important to understanding your why because what that is going to do is when you're not motivated or you don't really uh, feel like getting down and doing the work, putting the work in, you're going to go ahead and remember your why and what you're creating and that's going to be able to push you through. So it doesn't matter uh, whether you uh, sell earrings, whether you are a musician or whether you are a personal development coach, right? What you need to do is get clear on what you want to create and understand why you want to create it and then go forward from there. So that is tip number one. Tip number two is commit to learning the skills. And this is one that I feel is actually the most important uh, and especially applies to my story because I started Greatness Every Day about two years ago and I went, uh, I went ahead and when I began, I said, I'm going to work for two years just putting the work in, learning the skills, doing what it takes so that whenever I want to create something in the future, like a website, like a photo, uh, like a coaching sales funnel, something like that, I'm not going to have to waste time. I've put the time and I've learned the skills, I've figured out how to do those things so that when I want to create it, I can go ahead and do it. It's not gonna cost me money going out and, and hiring somebody else. Typically, if I can do at least the basic to intermediate level things, uh, it's not going to cost me time I'm trying to figure out all of these things when I want to go ahead and do it because I've dedicated the time to learning the skills I'm going to be able to go ahead and do that so that is something that really is what I believe people aren't successful in growing their business right now because they don't commit to learning the skills and that's something that for you um, as you're beginning your business is going to be extremely valuable yes but at the same time as you're an intermediate and growing to an expert level or a master in business you're also going to benefit uh, just because of the skill level and the understanding that is associated with that. So that is tip number two. Tip number three is to plan out your content. And a lot of people just kind of go through the motions and figure out what they want to post the day of, for example. But if you are able to strategically plan out your content weeks, months in advance, uh, identify what your theme of your content is going to be, what the structure of the content actually looks like. Uh, maybe you're going to collaborate with people to grow uh, your influence, right? Maybe all of those things, if you're going to go ahead and you want to grow faster, you should think about planning out your content. This is a big one for me. Uh, it might look like you just kind of putting that into your phone. It might look like you having a journal that you list those things out, or maybe you actually go ahead um, and have a bigger calendar on, on a device or just somewhere that you can see on a wall. Going ahead and planning your content is going to be crucial to your business success. Um, number four is stay Stay consistent. Staying consistent is another big piece to this because you can have the plan, you can know your, your why and what you want to create, but if you're not able to follow through and stay consistent, well, nobody else is going to make it happen for you, right? Uh, it's up to you to make it happen. The dreams that you have, the goals and visions that you have, it's up for you to make those things come true because nobody's going to come alongside you um, and do it for you. It's going to be you putting the work in, staying consistent when you feel like it, when you don't feel like it. Uh, and I can speak to this because 
I have a full-time job. I would go through in my full-time job work. I love my job as well. Uh, and it takes up a lot of my time. But when I do get back from that, when I get home, I'm willing to put the work in because I believe in the process that I'm following and I believe in the purpose of what I am working on. So that is tip number four to stay consistent. And tip number five is ultimately, if you're growing your business to uh, bring in at least $500 per month or more, well, you need to have a monetization plan. And that is tip number five, because once I said those two years were done, uh, I went ahead and I monetized what I do here. And that happens in a few different ways. So for me, I've set up my monetization plan in a triangle. Uh, in that triangle on the lower level, there are the more basic um, free models that people can uh, actually, and I say monetize, and I just said free, I know that's a little bit confusing, uh, but there are ways to monetize by giving out free content. Obviously, if you talk about um, sales funnels, obviously, if you talk about giving free content on a place uh, that produces ads that you are able to not cost the person consuming your content um, anything, but you are also able to benefit from the advertisements there. And then working your way up the actual pyramid um, in terms of monetization plans that do go up. So you might start out with free content, then you might go into something like basic lower level affiliate marketing, then maybe a high ticket affiliate marketing, and from there go into things like coaching, uh, masterminds, and other products. So those are some things that you can look towards uh, doing, but you have to have a monetization plan uh, because for me, as I've gone through and created that pyramid, created that structure and that plan, I'm able to check off the levels as I'm continuing. And even in the last month, uh, I've added two new monetization plans that are going to prove to be pretty fruitful for me uh, and really kind of leveling what I do into, into this $500 a month range up into a higher level. So I'm excited to go ahead and do that. So these are the tips that I have for people on how to grow their online business to $500 a month or more. Um, I want to know what you think of this video. Let me know what are the comments and questions that you have. Share your tips with other people that you have learned as well. And I'd really appreciate it if you went ahead and hit the subscribe button because here on my channel, I make content that's related to living your greatest life through personal development, health, and wealth. We discover all of those things and I really appreciate you watching. So go ahead, hit the thumbs up button and follow us on Instagram for daily inspiration and encouragement to live a great life. Thanks for watching. Remember, choose greatness every day and I'll see you next time.